So from a leader perspective, um, how much, like, you know, how do they set themselves up, like, you know, uncover the biases in a remote first way and like set up that remote first culture that is fair to all their It's challenging because you're having to develop an understanding of how someone thinks in a remote environment, which when we're in person, it's a lot more, our brain gets signals and we pick up cues differently and we're in the office and there's a lot more that just happens through osmosis which is why some companies are saying in the office automatically i can understand why some leaders are going that direction because truthfully uh a remote work environment exposes problematic leadership situations and areas that are weaker and it can mean it can make the difference between them succeeding and failing and so what does a manager do or what, is a, what does an employee do in these circumstances is to begin to start to have more than just tactical conversations, to start talking about strategy and theory and ideas, taking some time out of one-on-ones or meetings to just make sure people are heard. Managers should, should always be asking everyone for input, regardless of whether or not they choose to give it or not. And that is often uh, missed in a meeting because we're rushing. I mean, we're always moving too quickly and there's always someone that's dominating the conversation. And then there's like five people in the meeting who don't say a word. And those folks are dead in the water. Nobody hears you, your ideas or your input, then they don't know what you've got. They don't know who you are and what you can contribute. It makes it very hard to have a career development or even to be perceived as a great performer when you're sitting silently. And I think remote makes that harder and easier all at the same time. I mean, yeah, as an introvert, I love remote. I I am super productive. I don't have to talk to anybody. And it's typically one-on-one and I'm not in a meeting situation. But I have to work very hard to be thoughtful about my contributions because if I over-contribute, I'm that person. And if I under-contribute, then they don't know who I am.